You've probably heard the old adage, cheer up, things could get worse. So I cheered up and things got worse. The COVID-19 pandemic has taken a tremendous toll, not only in terms of the tragic health consequences, but the severe economic damage. All of us, in one way or another, are dealing with difficulties and suffering. A big question that everyone is asking in the midst of the pandemic is how do we protect ourselves and our loved ones? It's a natural response and and a fair question to ask. In an effort to answer the big question, the medical experts and government leaders have provided specific instructions to help flatten the curve of the pandemic and protect us. The guidelines include washing our hands for more than 20 seconds, wearing masks, practicing social distancing, and for many people, sheltering in place. All of these guidelines have provided an answer to the question, how can we protect ourselves? But maybe another question we should be asking is, who can protect us? In Psalm 91, verses 1 through 5, the Bible says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night. The psalmist declares that those who seek God and put their trust in him will find refuge and protection. But let me be clear. The promise of God's protection does not relieve us of the responsibility of taking necessary precautions, nor does God promise us that we will never face hardship or suffering. To the contrary, the passage we've just read implies that we inevitably will face periods of distress and grief. The promise of the psalm is that when we walk through these times of difficulty, God walks with us to protect and shelter us. The picture that the psalmist describes of God covering us with his feathers and placing us under the protection of his wings was made all the clearer to me just recently. On Sunday Easter night, a powerful tornado swept through an area of Chattanooga, Tennessee, where my grandson and granddaughter, along with their mom and stepfather, live. As quickly as they could, they all huddled in a closet in the lower level of their home. Once the tornado passed over, they were inundated by rain. And when they looked around in the dark of night, they realized that the house above and around them had been completely destroyed. On the left is a picture of their home before the tornado, and on the right is after the destruction. No roof, no walls, no salvageable furniture, no anything. The damage was total. They escaped the carnage with only the clothes they were wearing when they crammed into that small closet. They realized that that small enclave where they had sought shelter was the only area not covered over with splintered wood and piles of brick and rain-soaked debris. When I look at this picture, I don't see destruction. I see a miracle. The miracle of God's divine protection under His wings. As we all continue to deal with the coronavirus pandemic and the many other trials and difficulties that we face in life, maybe this presents us a moment in time to trust in the one who not only provides protection in life, but salvation for eternity. That's something to consider.